Now it's time for our Storm King Team forecast with meteorologist Lisa Green. Well, good morning. We've got conditions this morning that are soupy out there yet again today and a dense fog advisory in effect. It's been extended actually until 9 a.m. It was originally set to end at 6 a.m. We're still dealing with the fog. So a few more hours left on this. It includes parts of the Devil's Lake Basin right in the heart of East Central North Dakota and then back down into the James River Valley. And that's right where we're seeing some of our, our worst fog or visibility reports rather. And we are at zero in Valley City and in Gwinter right now for visibility. It's improved a bit in Jamestown at two miles and up in Langdon as well at a mile and a half. Over to the east there are also some pockets of fog and Wadena visibility down to a quarter mile. So this is an issue on both sides of the valley. In between there may be some other places where fog is bringing down your visibility a bit. We have a little moisture in Fargo but visibility still looking okay. Not, not the case, not so much in the Foreman area. This is on one of our DOT cams. You can see that you can't see. We're looking at uh, murky conditions in southeastern parts of North Dakota. So current weather, we're looking at temperatures that are mild for January, but most of us are below freezing. So want to keep that in mind in those places where we have fog. We're also looking at the potential for that depositing on roads and frost developing and slick spots. Fargo's at, at 20 degrees. It's 20 in Grand Forks. Devil's Lake a little milder at 30. And then there are places in the teens, especially into Minnesota, Detroit Lakes, Bemidji, both in the teens right now. The wind out of the south or southeast and generally less than 10 miles per hour. Radar looking quiet. Satellite maps showing some of those lower clouds. We'll see more and more cloud development in eastern North Dakota today. Better chances at sunshine, more into Minnesota. And right along the Red River in between, it could be quite variable. Fargo, we're looking at temperatures at the bus stop starting off in the low 20s. All in all, pretty mild for everybody here, depending on, or rather, no matter what your temperature is, it's pretty mild for January to start. And into the afternoon, we're talking some numbers into the upper 20s to some low 30s yet again. Uh, for the kids to head home. Tomorrow, want to watch out for a little bit of freezing drizzle potentially for tomorrow morning's commute. We could also have fog yet again to start and perhaps some flurries as well. But the weekend's looking good. Temperatures, 20s, not bad for January again, and some partly cloudy skies. The weekend looks nice and warm, just like kind of today, but we want to be careful on the roadways. Thank